Hello, boys and girls. Uh, so this is part two, week eight, and not much has happened since week seven. So I don't have very much to say this week. I was hoping that much more would have happened. She just kind of, you know, she just walks when we're out, and she doesn't, she doesn't run anymore at all, which is a good thing. She's taking it easy, and uh, and uh, yeah, like this picture right here. That's that's what I see basically all day when we're not outside. So uh, she's she's taking it easy. She's lying around. She's just chilling like all day, and I just keep rubbing her belly, you know. And she, well, she just, this is what she does now. And it feels weird because usually, usually she's, you know, she's so energetic, like all the time. It's impossible to get all the energy out, right? And it's, it's crazy to see her like this because it feels like a completely different dog. It feels like I've jumped in, in, into some kind of, I don't know, like some kind of weird reality where I got another kind of dog. And I'm, I'm just like, what? And things are just... I don't know. It's just heading in a totally different direction than I thought it was. It would, this would be like this one right here. Usually my dogs never bark, but they saw like a cat out on the on the lawn, and they, they just had to make the cat, you know, know that they were there to protect their place, right? And both of them just started barking out of nowhere. Especially the guy it was like kind of creepy. Anyway, so. Uh, she, it was, yeah, it was behaving really creepy. Yeah, usually it does. It's never done that before. Um, so uh, we just had to. All right, and uh, yeah, she's starting to behave a little weird uh, among people and other dogs. People she doesn't know, dogs she doesn't know. She's starting growling at them and kind of behaving a little strange. But she's never done that before. You know, she's always been kind of a happy playful dog and you know she always interested in other people and other dogs she's always been very forward and very but i've read that apparently the, the, la the mm, last two weeks like eight and nine you should keep them away from other dogs that she doesn't know and other people that she doesn't know, especially children for some reason. I don't know why really, but apparently they're unpredictable in some way and they can feel that and that makes them insecure. And when they're carrying babies, I mean, it turns into kind of a bad thing for them, I guess, I don't know. Um, so, so this is basically one of the diets right here. She gets the same food because I'm a little bit of a simp to these dogs yeah yeah so um yeah like i said getting her belly rubbed that's that's about it right now she's just lying around like this all the time and i've uh i've started to prepare a lot more for when the pups do arrive um i've got the old kitchen scale uh, put new batteries in it and um, put it beside the bed because I guess beside her bed because you can use it to uh, if you weigh the pups every day uh, you can see if they're starting to lose weight they're not eating properly so I'm gonna I'm gonna do that it was actually my dad that gave me that um, that tip to weigh uh, the pups every day and keep the schedule on every pup and uh, so I've been I've been trying to prepare, um, you know, side stuff that needs to be done before. I've ne I've I've actually never had her to the vet yet. We've never been to the veterinarian to check out her vitals and the, the vitals of the pups, or we haven't done anything like that. Um, it'll be like a no natural kind of kind of deal like without no doctors and such so i hope everything will be all right but i'm pretty sure it, it will be she's a good dog she knows what she, she knows what she's doing oh yeah um right one more thing so i finished her bed <laughs> her, her bed where she can have the pups and uh she, turns out she likes it very much i just got some supplies from around the house and just 
just basically nailed it together. <laughs> no like big things. It's, it's not very luxurious. But she doesn't seem like she cares all that much. She seems to love it really. She lies there all day now. Um, when I'm home, we're not outside. Which she doesn't want to be anymore, basically. <laughs> she just want to lie around in this thing. Anyway, so I guess we'll see what will happen in week 9. I think it will be more interesting than this week. Don't have much content this week. But thank you for watching, and uh, yeah, I'll see you later. Bye.